Hey y'all, this is Cindy. I'm the Tireless Tangler, and you've arrived at day 61 of the 100 Days of Zentangle Project 2019. Thank you so much for being with me today. Today's tangle is called Any Shoe. It is a Zentangle original pattern, and it can be a little bit complex, but let me share it with you, and I think you're going to like it as much as I do. Any shoe starts with sort of a semicircle that you then ara and close in on both sides. Now what we're going to do is add little curved sections of echo lines and echo lines are lines that follow an existing curved line or an existing line but either get bigger or smaller. And so you want you want to sort of plan ahead and decide a little bit of planning, not too much. Decide where you want this to um, go. So I'm going to purposefully choose the other direction. and draw this as if it were coming from here. Now in the original step out from Zentangle, they do not approach us in exactly this way. They approach it, let's see, let's put another section and we're just going to keep adding these little sections until and going in all different directions however you like until we feel like it's uh, filled out and so they just have each line feeding in and it's okay if they don't come together all the way but what you want is a section of lines that follow each other in the same direction with some curves in it. And then you're going to go in and just figure out, sorry, I hit the light, figure out how you're going to add in more of these little sections and make them go all different ways. Now, I can do it this way, like it is on the step out, but I am very messy with my lines because of the shaking in my hands. Although, this type of pattern is pretty good for me because it works uh, with, my, <laughs> with my flaws instead of against them. Um, now, when you run out of space at the top, don't worry about it. Just go down where you have empty spots. and section it like that. But what I've started doing with this since I started it is when I begin the section I draw both sides and then I fill it with these others. And if you want it to be sort of, oh how do I describe it, hairy and messy, sort of like this and this, go for it. That's, that's cool. That's actually how the original step out is. If you prefer for your ends to be a little bit neater, you can do uh, this other um, thing that I've been doing. Um, I can't seem to get my curves to work together today. Uh, let's see. Let's have one come down here. So I'm just going to draw in my shape on each side and make that a little rounder. Oops. Well, that didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted to, but we can still fix it. 
but you can see you can mess this pattern up and it really is not going to make any difference in the end and you can be as careful or as casual with it as you like and you can see you can make it as big or as small I'm going to do a careful one here. And for some reason today I'm doing better pushing out with my pen strokes away from me. Um, I think that has to do with my individual uh, problems with trimmers and the muscles. Uh, so, you know, don't... Best practice, of course, is to pull your pin towards you because you have more more ability to steady your stroke um, but you can really I found I just do what's best for me in the moment and don't worry about what other people do uh, this should probably So as you add your sections, let's see. choose whichever method of adding your lines you like. No, nope. not yet, buddy, not yet. Sim is thinking about jumping up here, and I don't want him to mess me up. Well, I think I may have gotten a little too creative with this section, but um, it, it for the purposes of demonstrating the pattern, this is going to be fine. Although it's a pretty big mess, if you ask me. Yeah. I think I just gave up on it, huh? But redefine these spots where these sections overlap with your pen so that when you come back in for shading, you know where you're at. You can also take this opportunity to add some uh, rounding and line weight in these sections if that's um, a look that you like. You don't want to obliterate your overlap which is going to, which is the thing that really makes this pattern special is the ability to overlap the sections in Hollabaugh fashion. So even though the job I have done is fairly messy, we're going to see how this turns out with shading. The more time you, you spend with your ink pen working these sections, the nicer it will look when you're finished shading. Well, I'm out of control here with with my with my hand, so I'm going to um, stop what I'm doing before I make it worse. But if you see, um, let's see a little bit. If you can tell, it's a pretty big mess, but I'm going to go ahead and shade this and see where we end up with it because um, this is a really fun pattern and I'm really curious to see how, how you all feel about it once you've tried it out. All right, so for shading, it's really important, just like in Halaba, to catch the parts where the lines are going to overlap. So... Um, any section where it looks like one set of lines are on top or should go on top of the other 
you want to lay down plenty of graphite in those sections. Don't be, don't be scared to get too much. But leave it up in the crevices uh, or the nooks and crannies, as I like to say. And really darken some of these areas in. And sometimes it is hard to shade over, especially if you've done the lines with loving care. Sometimes it's hard to put a bunch of graphite over them, but you'll find that the end result is usually worth it. If you want to add a little bit at the bottoms of these to emphasize the lines are coming together, you can. Um, it's not necessary because uh, the, when the pin strokes come together, they give you a lot of that a lot of that action but sometimes it is nice to to darken the ends and and sort of uh, give it a finished look okay so I'm gonna put a little bit more right here got in my light there all right let's shade this a little bit and see if you can tell again I I apologize for the sort of sloppy job on this My shaking has sort of been crazy lately. I think it's the stress. And so I'm hoping that will get better here soon. Ooh, I'm not shaking this too much. Let's see, when you get into these spots, it looks like they cross over and you get them all nice and dark your 3d effect on this is really emphasized and that's a that's a really nice thing now depending on the tile or the paper that you're working on you can also it doesn't work real well on this paper that I'm doing uh, simply because it's bright white but you can take your charcoal pencil especially on Zentangle tiles and go in in the sections that are not shaded such as this section right here take your white charcoal pencil and emphasize the highlights on those that's a really nice effect as well so I would do it right here and right here right here maybe um, all of the spots where you would naturally think "Ooh, that should be lighter uh, because the light should be hitting that, if you think that deeply, right in here. So you see what I mean with the with the white charcoal pencil. Um, that could really pop out some of this. But you also see that even with my sloppy job here, the shading really adds a lot to this. And it can be as loose or as uh, organized as you like. It can be wild. It can be crazy. It can be thick and heavy. It can have just a few tendrils. So really play with it and let me know what you guys think about it. Um, let's get it in the pattern and see how we do. Oh, any shoe. He is going to need a great big spot. And I don't know why he's a he, but for some reason he is. <laughs> All right, let's put any shoe here and well, first let me put my auras in because I almost always forget. There we go. I'm just going to roll with the diva dance type thing here. And go with it. <laughs> let's let's zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Okay. All right. Any shoe. I think I shall put to get the most bang from my space here. I think I'll put the middle the little semicircle up here and then have my little lines going out everywhere. So, and I think I'm going to make this 
kind of wide and open so no matter which direction I want to take my little tendrils um, I'm good to go with the angle on this except of course I might as well do that on both sides hey all right so my first one I'm going to bring out this way and I think I'm going to do this and maybe make it just a little thicker but I think I'm going to leave the rest of that to go a different direction I'm going to attempt to be a bit careful with my lines but not too much if you lose the wild quality then then you sort of lost this pattern I think um, it likes being wild I may not be able to move this around <laughs> at all all right, it really wants to be like this. I'm going to try it. Stay. All right. I don't know how that's going to turn out. Let's see. So I want one more to come out. Um... I want one to come from behind here and do this. I'm going to do this and shape it in this way. And then I think I'm going to have this Whoa, none of that was in frame, was it? Bad idea. All right, I'm going to try this one more time and see if I can do it without moving this. So I'm going to bring my other front-facing tendril out in this opposite direction. And then do my line fill. That wasn't very good. But it'll be okay. See? Nobody will ever know. And while I'm working, I'm going to take an opportunity to emphasize these lines where we're going over each other. That'll make the shading easier later. All right, now for second row, I'm going to want one that comes out, I'm going to want one that comes out up here, I think, and then I'll add some more in here. I think that's as far as up as I'll go on that, except maybe I'll put another. So I think I'll start with the one here, and so if it's coming from here, and it probably need to be like that. And I'll bring it like that. I'm not feeling the pulling the lines toward me today at all. And I'm going to redefine this line going over. All right. There's a little blank spot there in there. There we go. I don't know. I may have made it worse. I'm not wearing the right glasses today. All right. So let's fill in some of these spaces now that I've got my basic uh, shape decided on. And I'm going to want them to wiggle around. So... And I'll put another one in here. And that one will go this way. Hmm. Okay, let's see. 
Well, this is really hard to get to and keep it in the light and the camera. Let's see. All right, let's try this from this angle. Um... And I think I'd like to put one more coming. Up here like so. All right. That looks pretty good. I like it. Let's get it shaded. Again, we're going to darken the areas that look like they're running behind. Just as we would if these were uh, regular Holobaw uh, lines. Yeah, I really love how this pattern works. If you give it a chance, it can be a little work intensive and a little intimidating, but it's very forgiving uh, of uh, mistakes. Or, it enjoys lots of opportunities. I'm getting better at this. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm better at believing it, but I'm getting better at it. And it's a great attitude, so I really need to practice all right, let's shade a little bit. See where we're at. And it's out of frame again. Well, I don't know how much of that you could see. Because the closer I get it to me so I can control it, uh, the further out of frame it gets. So, um... This is what I ended up with. I am having a real problem getting a good picture of it. There we go. Alongside Mazarito, Mazarito, and um, oh, oh, we need a game. We need a game. We need a hundred days of Zendangle game for this. It'll come to me. It'll come to Tut. Oh, look at me go. Here we go. I don't know this one. Flutes, zinger, <laughs> entwine, charts. I saw. Oh, this is Lizette Hoffer's. Um, Hoffer's. Um, oh, sling slang. This one's out of my mind. These two, I gotta think of them. And we just did them. I'm terrible at this game. This is. No, this is mountain. This is F to F. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> I would not be very good at this game. All right, let me zoom out and see if we can get a good picture here. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. 100 days of Zentangle 2019. What you guys think? Pretty awesome, um. Pretty awesome. And I like any shoe. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow for day 62. Keep tangling. I wish you joy in that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for being here.